I've given Dean a local anaesthetic on the top teeth and we're going to record a preoperative bite using O-Bite. Um, just bite together please Dean on your back teeth, that's fantastic. Because Dean has got some missing teeth at the back, this will just help as a reference for me. So this is a bite registration material called O-Bite. It's an orange one. Open please. Good. When I tell you Dean, I just bite, yeah? So not yet. Hold on, I'll tell you when. Open darling. So I'm just syringing a little bit on the back molar. And just on the back molar there as well. Just a little bit at the front as well. Bite on your back teeth in a normal bite. That's it, perfect. Just keep biting now, Dina. So what I've done so far is I've removed the temporary bridge I'd made on the left side, which had about five teeth on there. This tooth is prepped already, the upper left one. So is the upper left two. We've done the fiber and the composite build up on there. This is the upper left canine, which was root filled most recently because there's very minimum uh, coronal tooth substance remaining. So that needed elective endodontics. The upper left five has been treated already with a root filling and a post and core. And the four is where, where the tooth was taken out. It's all healed up very, very well. So what I'd like to do now is do the fiber post buildup on the upper left three. My colleague has made a post space partially already on the day of the root canal treatment. So I'm gonna use a product called Fiber Post, Everstick, it's made by Stick Tech. And initially I'm using a Gay Glidden Burr just to go down, down the canal. I've started the process already. So I'm just gonna remove two more millimeters of GP. I'm right down the middle of the canal. So I'm just gonna very gently go into the canal. Another two more millimeters. I like to go up to maybe number five gay slidden in these teeth with a larger canal so that it's easier to insert the fibers and bond in for the buildup. Good, so that's the preparation complete. This is Everstick post material. This is 0.9 millimeters. It comes in two uh, diameters, 0.9 and 1.2. So I'm going to insert this into the canal as far as it goes, which is down to there. I need scissors, please, now. And then I'm literally going to take a pair of scissors and cut slightly above the tooth reference point at the moment. There's still some space on lateral to this first post I put in. So I'm just going to put in a perio probe just to, in a way, condense it slightly. And then I'm going to take that piece I just cut off and place that past the first piece lateral to it. Great. So that's pretty much ready. If there was a bigger hole, obviously you'd put some more in there. So I'm going to carefully take this out. As you can see, it's well adapted. And I just reinsert again just to test it. That looks fantastic. I'm going to put that safely on the side, ready for cementing in a short while. So to cement the post into the canal, I'm going to use a product called Luxa Core, and the bonding system will be Luxa Bond. So this is normal acid edge, 37% phosphoric acid. I'm going to put that all around here. This only needs to be on there for about 15-20 seconds, literally. So we don't need it that long. There you go. So I'm just using one or two paper points to remove the excess water, which I've done. So can I have a pre-bond? So with Luxa Bond, there's the first material called pre-bond. And it's really important to use this first before using the bonding system, which is two different liquids mixed together. The pre-bond accelerates significantly the setting of the material. So that's one of the main functions. And it comes with these beautiful, small, thin tips, which go all the way down the canal. So that's, that's another thing I like a lot about this particular product. So I'm just carefully putting the pre-bond in very gently for about 15, 20 seconds. It's a clear liquid, very easy to use with these tips. So that goes in for about 10, 15 seconds, like that. Then I'm going to very gently blow dry, not significantly, just gently, like so. And then my nurse is now mixing the Luxa Bond A and B together, about a drop each. And then we're going to apply that within the canal. So I'm going to take this here and bring it in the canal gently, coat all the surface everywhere. Again, very gently blow drying that. And some suction at the back, please. 
And I'm also going to use a couple of paper points just to remove excess bonding uh, resin within the canal. So you don't want too much, you just want a very thin layer all inside there. That's looking beautiful now. This is the sort of dual cure Luxacore material. But a nice tip again, very small tip that can go all the way down the canal. My nurse has sort of taken a little bit out and set up the tip and I'm just going to syringe a small amount straight into the canal which is going in there beautifully. That's looking good. Open please Dina, that's good. Thank you. That's fully seated nicely. It's looking good. I'm pushing it down all the way to make sure there's enough pressure in there. So we're going to light cure this for a good 40 seconds or so to make sure it's really set hard. That's really rock solid now. It's almost like a good monoblock effect. So having built the post up, I'm just doing a little bit of modification now. We're just going to re-prepare the tooth into the correct shape. So that we are ready for the impression for later. So I've completed the preparation on that canine. Can you bite together please Dina? That's a proper uh, positive bite there because I've got all the teeth in contact on the right side. So at this point, I want to take my sectional bite on the left side using O-bite. So please open. I'm going to tell you when to bite in a second. I just want you to firmly bite together. Not yet, just wait. And we'll carefully syringe here with good finger support all around up to this point here. And would you please bite together? Bite all the way down? Good, that's fine. Keep together. I can just add a little bit more just to make sure we're clear imprint of the teeth so just let us set hard for about a minute so i've just recorded this bite i'm going to place it back here and double check it again now so it's nicely seated please close dina all the way down that's good another clever trick with regards to the occlusion is i'm going to put this here there's a shim stock hold on the upper right too bite together family and it still is there with the old bite so i'm 100 percent certain now that this bite is very accurate so my now, open this. My job now is to carry on and prepare these three teeth for the porcelain veneers with classical veneer preparation techniques. I'm also going to use this prep guide at this point, just to check, this is the one I made earlier on, just to check that I've got enough space. So I've got plenty of space occlusally. Labially, it's nicely rolled in, so we've got enough space. So I think the technician can do a great job from where we are at this point.